Turning tragedy into triumph. Believe it or not, it has been three years since the police shooting of Stefan Clark. The Sacramento case gained international attention, and tonight we have an exclusive look at how the family's planning to launch a new community resource center. It's called Stefan's House. Stefan Clark! Who can forget the massive protest sparked by the police shooting of Stefan Clark? Demonstrators shut down the interstate and kicked off a cry for justice heard around the world, with Clark's brother, Stevante, leading the charge after his death. But I wish it was me, you know, because Stefan had two kids. You know, he had a wife. You know, he was so young, so passionate, he was amazing. And I don't have any kids. You know, I don't have a wife or nothing like that. So, you know, for Stefan to just lose his life the way he did, and for people to make assumptions about who they think he is, or who they think I am, you know, it, it breaks my heart. But that heartbreak has only fueled Stevante's mission to ensure his brother's legacy lives on in a positive way. And that's why he's offering us this exclusive look at Stefan's house, set to open on the third anniversary of the young father's death. We're gonna be having lectures, exhibits, dinners, conferences. All our stuff will be here. Take a look, there's a game room. Books are being donated to create a formal library and players from the National Football League who wore the name Stefan Clark on their helmets at the Super Bowl are even donating them to go on display at Stefan's house. I'm just getting started, Chris. I'm just getting started. These kids are gonna, I'm gonna these kids are gonna have everything. But Stefan's house is not just for kids. Stevante says all are welcome. Frederick Douglass says it's easier to raise strong children than to repair broken men. What we do here is we repair broken men. The vision for this resource center is to be open 24 hours. So that way if you get kicked out of jail, you have somewhere to go. If, if you get out of foster care, you have somewhere to go. If your baby mother or grandmother, is, you have some any problem and you don't have nowhere to go, Stefan's house will be a place where you could um, come. A place Stevante wishes he had back in 2018. That man should have never been fired upon 20 times. That was my brother. 20 times. 20 times. At the beginning, I might have looked erratic or crazy or manic or whatever because my passion times. wasn't really directed. I was just in a lot of pain. 20 times. Remember, police had been chasing Clark following reports of someone breaking into cars. Officers say they believed he was armed but found only a cell phone. Everything was horrible. And then when I was able to honestly go to jail and went to the mental institution, I was ostracized. I was even kicked out the church for a little bit. But all that um, really got me into um, turning my passion into purpose. I always say passion without direction is chaos. And when you see me jumping on the, the mayor's desk, I believe that's passion without the direction. But when you see the Stefan's house, that is, this is passion with the direction. This is purpose. This, Devante says, is a safe space. It's a safe and a brave space. A brave, safe space. <laughs> yes, all jokes aside, Stefan's house is now a reality. It's actually located in Citrus Heights with plans to shuttle youth from across the area to the resource center. You know, Stefan Alonzo Clark initials is SAC. I am SAC. So it's not just Meadowview. It's not just Del Paso Heights, Oak Park, South Sacramento. This is for I am SAC. This is for everybody in Sacramento. So here's the deal. Stefan's house is set to open March 18th at noon.